50 bike paths, 50 bike paths that we have in Calgary together, you might get something sort of similar to Switzerland roads. So we just would do the bike path over and over and over, and then they're super slow, but we developed like technique and how to do it right. And then so we moved on to bigger hills, you're like, oh, this is easy, all you have to do is go faster. And then you realized you could do, go just as fast, but do it all without putting your hands on the ground. And that's where things really got interesting. Pre-drifting has gotten very big, so when you go into a corner, you gotta kick that board sideways, and uh, it allows you to really drop speed, but the riding has definitely gotten more intense, it's gotten tighter, it's gotten faster. It's just really interesting when two foot breakers and two sliders are in one heat. That could cause some trouble. <laughs> but here you really, you have the, the want to just perfect your style. Just you know, nail these awesome lines on the sprints roads. So it's really just like pushing it as far as you can without being a wimp and putting your hands on the ground. Like Yvonne Labar. We were all having a fight who had to have him behind him. Because uh, Yvonne likes to uh, slide really, really, really close to you. And at first we didn't realize he was in control. But uh, <laughs> it got pretty fun after a while once we got used to everybody's style. Maybe I have a really different style, you know, when I skate. And uh, maybe they, give, they take me to, for my ability to film too. But I think it's not the bad thing. It's, it's cool because I like filming too, so. Yeah, good. Um, I hope I can trust you. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> totally. For I'm Canadian. Canadian. So Canadian. One person you can trust us. <laughs>
that's just something that you constantly think about on an open road is, or something you should constantly think about when you're on a closed road, is there's going to be a car in that blind corner. My main focus on skating and filming this trip is to my safety and to other safety, to the safety of people around me. Most people look at longboarders and they think we're doing really dangerous things, we're out of control and we're risk takers. To tell you the truth, most of those roads, if I wasn't confident, I wouldn't go down. I'm not, I'm not out there trying to kill myself. I'm out there trying to have another run. The fear comes when you're riding that hill and how far do you want to push it? How fast do you want to go? The, the risk of hurting yourself sure is always there. You can never 100% avoid it because you rely on your skill. A friend of mine and a, quite a, a close friend of the, of the community died when we were at a young age at 15. And it sort of, it made a, it, it cast light onto what, what was going on. I mean, it, it happened at a race in a, in a controlled environment and it was a complete shock that it happened. It's, no one's bulletproof. I mean, you can be hit by lightning, you can fall down stairs, you can be run over on a, on a sidewalk. Just the zero risk situation doesn't exist. I hit a car one time. Because I was tired and uh, I, do, I do shit in the road. I was just uh, tired and I didn't control my slide. I go directly in the car and so I broke one way. Anytime I go close to a guardrail, I get scared now. Because uh, six months ago I broke my fibula and my left leg going into a guardrail. Um, a number of years ago I was in a pretty bad crash where I hit a guardrail at 85 kilometers an hour with my head. And, uh, you know, the police had to call my parents. So that was a little, you know, they didn't really like that. But I got back on my board and, you know, they're still stoked. So, you know, as long as I don't die, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll be stoked. For me, it's a good trade. Even, even if I would blow the next situation I'm in and die for it or end up in a wheelchair, all the time and all the good friends, all the good moments skateboarding has given me, it's totally worth it and I would ne like never trade anything for all I've lived through thanks to skateboard. Yeah.
this may be the worst idea ever.